Hey everyone, welcome to 14th basic JavaScript video in which we're gonna cover objects in a little bit more detail. Not too much, but uh, a little bit. So, we have taken a look at what objects are. So if I define an object like this with two curly braces, I can have a key name here with value one. Let's say I have key name two with value two and so on and so forth. Now, if I want to access any of them, I can either do key name like this, or I can do object key name two, like that, right? And you can see it basically works the same way. So, what happens? Um, let's say if I want to modify one of the one of the value. So, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write here favorite snack. For example and let's just write pizza here hit save and we obviously get undefined because that's not really set we get pizza here right now let's say I want to change this so just like we are accessing it with object dot the key name we can also set it so I can say burger here again which would eventually change this so if I console log it again you can see we get pizza first and burger next right what if I want to just console log this object as a whole checked that's it so you can see we get this nice little display which says favorite snack is burger and stuff like that let's add let's create another object we're gonna say let person is name mail channel code dam website codedam.com and uh, let's say we add some field like is html a programming language true right for instance let's just say and i'm going to console log this person so now you can see we get a lot of fields like name channel html and website and uh, Basically, what this means is that uh, obviously it does not mean really anything. We just got a console log of this statement. So, what if I want to, let's say, remove this value from here? How do we do that? Well, one way is to do person dot is HTML is undefined. Hit save, and I console log this one more time. But now you can see instead of that value getting removed we are actually getting the key as it is but the value as undefined so you can see we do not have is html a programming language here but we do have it here with a value of undefined but that's not what we want we just want it to be removed so how do we do that well instead of setting it to undefined what you can make use of is the delete operator now this is an operator which actually deletes that particular key from that particular object so we're going to say person dot is html programming language hit save now you can see that uh, the difference between these two objects is that is html programming language true exist here but it does not really exist here right so this is basically how you would delete a key from an object and uh, Obviously, you can set it to null or undefined as well, as long as it does not really bother you or your program. But that's essentially how we would do that, right? So this was a little bit basic manipulation with objects. And uh, just before finishing this video, I just want you to introduce to a quick little concept, not really a concept, but just to update what happens if you use, instead of let, if you use const here, right? So we can just get rid of all of this. Hit save. Now you should, as a user, expect that person dot name is something else. Should throw an error technically because it is a constant. Its value cannot be changed, right? However, you would see that the value actually gets changed and there's no error thrown. Why is that? Well, you see when in JavaScript. You make use of const with objects what happens is 
const only protects only covers you can say the insurance of this person const only ensures you that 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 this person would not change its value it does not ensure that the key of this person does not change its changes its value so you're pretty ensured that pretty much javascript to make sure that you cannot do something like this this would something javascript would surely protect you against but not this javascript does not say hey i i am creating this variable as a const therefore i would protect all of your keys javascript does not say that right so to actually protect your object as a whole what you have to do is basically object freezing and stuff like that but we are not going to cover it because it's not really relevant for now but for now just remember that const does not mean that you cannot change your key value pairs in javascript you can also do delete person.name it will still work right but you cannot obviously modify this person object directly or assign it any other value so i guess that's basically it for a basic manipulation a more in-depth beginner video on objects in javascript and that's all for this video i'll see you then in the next one